Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the project we're making today. This is week four of the 12 weeks of Halloween. Okay, so let me show you the supplies. We have the cute Halloween designer series paper. This measures six by six. We have some scraps of whisper or basic white. And that's it. Pretty simple, right? Okay, so we're gonna start with the stamping part. So we're gonna start with Memento ink. And we're gonna stamp all three images. So one. Two, three. We're going to use the pumpkin pie Stampin' Blend markers, and I'm going to start with the dark first. And then we're going to use the light. This is using the Clever Cats stamp set. Now let's take our paper snips and we're going to fussy cut these images out. That one's done. Now we're gonna do the pumpkin. Now to cut out the greeting, <laughs> I'm actually going to use my larger scissors. I feel like it's a little bit easier to cut the greeting out uh, with larger scissors. And yes, it's not straight. It's Halloween. That's perfect time to have crooked greetings, right? <laughs> So here are the dies. Again, this is the pretty uh, pillow box die set. And I've gone ahead and cut that out. So then you wanna fold on the score lines. Uh, the tag is from the Frightful Tags dies. And I've gone ahead and cut that out as well, just to save some time today. So now we're ready to assemble our box. So make sure that you fold on all the score lines, most especially on the side over here, okay? I've gone ahead and done that in advance. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you some candy that fits in there. I found these fit perfectly. Um, so you can see, just like that. And if you don't fold it all the way on that score line, you will find that it won't it won't close very well. So this is going to fold in like that. Okay. 
like that. Yep, and then what I'm gonna do is add my liquid glue right there. Ooh, almost got too much. Okay, I'm gonna hold this for a couple seconds and allow that to dry. You could use other adhesive if you want, but liquid glue really does work really well. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. So fold that in. I don't feel like I'm the most graceful person when it comes to assembling these. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna give that a second to dry. It helps if you could hold it on the inside as well. Okay, I think that's good. So now we're gonna add our little candy. And then this is gonna fold over just like that. You just wanna make sure that you don't um, collapse your box. So here's how it fits in there. That's the side view the other side and then this is going to, going to fold over like that so to keep this closed you have a couple options you can use those little velcro dots you can use um, magnets I'm just going to use ribbon because our ribbon is beautiful okay so I want a nice pretty bow at the top. I'm just going to tie it right here in the middle and then we will slide it up once I get the bow tied. Okay, now slide it up there. And then we'll trim the ribbon. And we'll probably trim the ribbon again when we're done uh, with the project. What we're gonna do now is add this label. Now, I made a couple of these. This one's just using basic black cardstock. You can just use cardstock if you want. I actually think it's a lot easier to use the designer series paper because it's a little bit easier to manipulate, to move around, okay? So I'm gonna add this by adding dimensionals right there. We are going to be using both the regular and um, the um, mini. So this one's going to go here. So you want one on the left and one on the right of the uh, ribbon. Take the backing off. Okay, now we're gonna add the pumpkin <laughs> down here at the bottom. We're gonna add the witch's hat with the mini dimensionals. So I'm gonna put one over here and then one over here. <laughs> and now we have the greeting to add which is going to go here so I'm just going to put a little bit of liquid glue under the left side of that okay so our final step is to add some of these cute stars one down here one up here <laughs> and then one up here I'm trying to not s squash my box with my fingers 
Okay, so that wraps up this project. Please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. And if you need anything, please let me know. Thanks a lot and have a great day. Bye.